Hi everyone, today for reasons that I will get into later on in the video, I am heading down to sunny Wales. So we'll lovely day for it. I'm going to drive down there. I'm going to check into a lovely hotel, which I will do a review about. Check out some of the food. Uh, check out certain things going on that, again, I will mention later on in the video. And uh, whatever else might happen to come along. In the meantime, keep watching. I'm in London, no real plans for the day, suddenly the phone rings, friends and family asking me if I'd be interested in taking a little road trip down to Wales because the next day they've got an appointment for a viewing of an old manor house that they're interested in renovating and changing into a wedding venue. Well, it's always great to catch up with friends and family and I've never been to Wales so hey, what a great opportunity, why not? Within a couple of hours, we're driving out of London and heading on our merry way down towards the Welsh border. Three and a half hours of driving, loads of chatter, some good banter, two pit stops later, and finally we arrive at the Severn Bridge, the crossing point that separates England from Wales. The weather's changed a little bit, there's a bit of rain coming down, but hey, that's to be expected after all, we are still in the UK. We get to the other side of the bridge and wow, we are in Wales. Yes, we finally made it. Then suddenly, from the middle of nowhere and without any warning, bang, snowstorm from hell. Oh my God, where did this come from? Welcome to Wales. Just had to film this middle of March and look at the way that snow is coming down, hammering it down. Well, I've arrived at the Lake Countryside Hotel. Time for a quick drink in the hotel bar and then I'm going to take an early night because to be honest with you, it's been a long drive down here and I am absolutely shattered. Kevin, this is not your room. So, checking into my room at this hotel. Nice massive double bed. Mirrors, television. Nice bathroom, toilet, sink, usual rigmarole, and the bedroom from the toilet. So 
It's even got its like little mini lounge sort of thing. Work table. Not that I'll be staying here very long. One night actually. But there you have it. Nice room. I've checked into the Lakeside Hotel in Wales. It's cost me £200 for the night, which is a bit above my usual amount I'll pay for a hotel room, but that is for a double room and does include buffet breakfast and a cooked breakfast. Lovely hotel where I'm staying, called the Lakeside Country Hotel. Beautiful. Look at that, you just don't get more picturesque. This is the hotel spa and swimming pool. Got some tennis courts down there. I don't think we're playing tennis today. And look at that, a beautiful lake as well. Well, they've got a gym and a little cafe here. It's like a little, looks like a little cafe. Swimming pool at the Lakeside Hotel in Wales. Swimming pool with the snow outside. Mini gymnasium. Not a lot, but suffice. Look at that lovely spa. I've just been in there. Works absolutely fine. It's such a wonderful, beautiful view. Little lake in the background. Well, that was a lovely little walk. Seven o'clock in the morning, surrounded by snow uh, in the middle of March. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'm heading for breakfast, so let's go and check out the breakfast in this place and uh, see what it uh, what it's like. It's a full Welsh breakfast, apparently. So I'm going to have myself a full Welsh uh, with all the trimmings, hopefully. Look at that, an old gong. I mean, that's the lunchtime gong. Oh, sorry. I oh, know I'm childish, but look at this. Dinner time gong. It's got to be done. Dinner is served. Welsh breakfast has arrived. 
Switch icon. Some lava bread. Some lava bread. Well, oh, let's get stuck in. Oh. Anyone who watches my videos will know that I am 100% honest with my reviews. I try not to put any negativity in it if possible, but anything I do see that is slightly negative should be taken as constructive criticism and not detrimental towards the company. On this occasion, the breakfast buffet at the hotel was absolutely amazing. The cooked breakfast, hmm, that left a lot to be desired. Uh, the bacon and sausage were a little bit dry. The lava bread, give me a hash brown or bubble and squeak any day, but again, again I guess that's a culture thing. Uh, where were the baked beans? Hmm, definitely missing the baked beans on that one. Anyway, moving on gracefully, it's time to say goodbye to the hotel and head off to our next destination, which is an appointment for a viewing at the country manor house. If you've ever been to Wales, you will know that the landscape is predominantly made up of mountains and valleys. Nothing wrong with this whatsoever. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. But one thing it does have an effect on is my sat nav. And this is an important piece of information to remember for later on in this video, when things tend to go a little bit pear shaped. After about an hour's driving, suddenly I find myself on this unsignposted country road in the middle of absolutely nothing, with just miles and miles of deserted scenery all around me. This is the Brecon Beacons, renowned for its rough terrain and often used by the SAS for their endurance and navigation attitude phase of their training. I'm fast running out of fuel and I'm getting absolutely no signal on my sat nav. Yes, I am starting to panic. Well, finally we arrive at the mansion for sale. This old building out in the middle of nowhere. Surrounded by fields. Look at that. If you like your peace and tranquility, then uh, this is definitely the place for you doesn't really sell it for me I'm afraid to be honest I'm not a builder and I certainly don't claim to know anything about restoring or renovating old buildings but my first impressions on this old building is yeah it's definitely had its heyday and anyone uh, planning to rejuvenate this old property definitely taking on a mammoth task this is a lovely old building. It's on the market for 750K freehold. As I say, it does need a hell of a lot of work doing to it, but anyone in the building trade or interested in rejuvenating it, you know, it probably will make a nice function place for weddings, wedding venues, business parties, and Christmas parties and that kind of thing. But as I say, it does need a lot of money chucked at it. I hope you found this video entertaining. If so, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe as it really helps my channel uh, apart from that this is chef travels thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next one cheers